Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a few more projects, uh, project shares, using my um, design team package from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, you can find Erica's dies here at ScrapDivaDesigns.com, and then here is all of her social media. Make sure you follow along the hashtag. To get some great inspiration from tons of different crafters. So that is that. Now let me show you um, some of the newest things I have worked with. Um, so some of these I've shared on Instagram, but I haven't done a video yet. So I kind of wanted to share with you some of the new ones I've created. Okay, first one I'm gonna share with you is called Heart Globe Shaker. Okay, this is the die. And this is the fun little shaker I've made. So, um, I just have it layered up. Uh, I put two layers of foam there because I was going to do this um, cute little, um, what should we call it? Um, what do you call that? Um, it's an actual, it's an actual um, sprinkles is what it's called. So it's an actual set or a bag that's actually, you know, edible that you can use on, you know, cookies and stuff. I really liked the pink balls and then you know, all the different shapes and stuff and the pink, green, and white. So anyway, I used that inside there. And the um, some of the balls were, um, you know, the balls were a little bit on the larger side for just one layer of the um, the poster board that I had. So I did, tw I did it twice. So I layered it up twice. And then I got my acetate, and then I got another pattern paper. Around here I have the um, house pattern paper in the background here. Um, and then I took some, this cute little foam, uh, this cute little um, trim. Um, was from, I think it was um, Walmart last year. So I, um, I layered up some of that. Um, I had used some of the puffy stickers that I had in my um, stash, which were these, you know, these cute little houses. I think they're from Hobby Lobby. So I just popped those up there. I used um, the Scrap Diva Designs poinsettia die again. Made some poinsettias. These ones are out of just regular um, uh, vellum. And then I have this pretty little pearl in the center. This is ephemera sheet. I mean, a piece of ephemera from a sticker sheet from Hobby Lobby that I put on top there. And then all of these are from the leaves bundle, um, which is this all one piece and you get let's see one two three four it looks like five different styles of um let's see, one two three four five yeah five different styles of leaves and there's two of each one so and they're all stay they all stay together so real easy just to run it through and then you just have them ready for when you want to you know, add them to a project. So I used that one on here and I used, I think three or four different ones of the, of the leaves. And I just kind of, you know, arranged them here on the side. So I think that turned out really pretty. And then this is a little snowflake. I had in my stash and I put a gem on top of it. So made a cute little um, shaker. So again, that is the heart globe shaker. Okay. So I made that one. And then next up, we have, let's see where it's at, it is the 3D House gift box. So this is the die set here, okay, and this is my first um, make with it, okay. See, brushing up again. She's always on my craft table, and she's got she got some of her hair on it. Okay, so this is just the regular 3D house gift box. There's an add-on set also. None of those pieces have I used on this yet. This is all just um, the basic pieces. It's a really fun set because it you know the top just um, comes off. Let me show you. So the, your two little. Um, I layer, I put my layering pieces on after I, for my handle, after I already had the box together. <laughs> so they're kind of sticking on the outside. Okay, so this is the base 
piece of the um, of the box and then these I layered up on top here and then so your two little handles from each side come together and you just stick that up through the hole so it's very easy to you know close it up and it doesn't take you know you don't have to tie ribbon or make any kind of closure you just do it like that so anyway it's a good size box holds quite a bit so anyway um, I used in the by the way the paper pad that I'm using for this um, is called down the down the chimney from um, DCWV I love it it's so, lots of pretty different um, pastel um, designs so of course that's all there is is the paper so I'm just kind of adding things here and there from my stash that match so um, uh, this I don't know if this was supposed to be a window or door but I made it my door and I layered it up with the layering pieces so it's got a glitter in the background this is a window I layered up same way um, and then there's also another window right here it's kind of it was kind of an arch um, I put the two arches this is two pieces I put them together and made one big oval um, like window out of there um, this is some more of that trim from um, Walmart I think that's so cute so I added the trim just here on both sides right under the edge of the roof okay and then here again I used um, some of the leaves these are actually the leaves and stuff from the um, 3d purse gift box so those pieces back there I used there and just kind of made like a little swag to go over the door and put a um, little bow in the center and then I used Nubo drops to do little red berries and then I just took took two of the big candy cane charm things from Hobby Lobby last year and I glued them on here and I just hooked a tiny little um, velvet white bead to it just to hang there I think it turned out super cute and so I need to go back and decorate this um, but I want to show you what it looked like without the add-on set and of course you could you know decorate it up however you wanted to without the um, the add-on set um, the add-on set gives you let's see I don't think I've opened that one up yet let me grab it and I'll show you so the add-on set comes with all these pieces here so these will layer up you know um, like the shingles on your roof and then you have like this front piece that has, you know, like if you want to make it a gingerbread, so it kind of like the drip, you know, the frosting. We all kinds of, you know, squiggly lines, you know, like for, um, you know, making it look like a gingerbread house. Different doors and windows, candies, layering pieces for the candies, little swirlies, um, gumdrops, another different kind of candy, another little swirly, and then the little dots, you know, holes. So very, very cute. So this is the add-on set, which I did not use any of these pieces on this yet. This is just the box itself. And I'm just using just other pieces to decorate it with. So this could be any kind of box for any time of year. I mean, lots of people have mentioned, I thought that too, that it would make a great um, looking um, bird birdhouse. But it could be a spring house. It could be... Um, yeah, you can make it into all sorts of things for every different occasion. So anyway, very cute. Very, very cute. So I made that. Um, I had showed you guys before this one that I made um, uh, using the Elf mini album. I didn't make a mini album out of it yet, but this is the big base piece. So this is how I decorated it. And I mentioned to you that um, when I shared this on my previous video that there's also the same thing that comes in a different set that's just called I think it's called Christmas Elf and it has two different more sizes. It comes with two sizes and it's the it's all the same pieces you know other than the you know these base layering pieces for making an album but you know still got the hat and the layering piece for the hat and the glasses and the face and um, so it makes a really, really cute different sizes of elves. And either one of these can be, it's just a great size for, um, you know, just for making a cute, for cute embellishments. Put on a card or, you know, a 3D project or, um, you know, whatever. Super cute. So I just have 
poinsettias layered up on one. This is the holly berry and leaves. Um, let's see, is that part of this side? I don't think so. I think that's part of... I don't think anyway. Let's find the dies. Oh yeah, I guess it is. It has littler leaves with this set and the bigger leaves come with this set. So, okay, and the glasses. And then this one I just added um, this cute little snowflake layered up embellishment that I had in my in my stash and then this I used the um, the elf bow on there and I put a tiny little um, penguin there in the center so anyway I want to share those with you and show you see, you see you could also see you know the different sizes all together so again this one is the elf mini album and these two come in a pack together the two different sizes and it's called Christmas elf I believe okay so I wanted to share those with you. And then I had previously shared this um, Winter Hat Memory Dex card. Okay, I didn't make a Memory Dex out of this one. I did make a shaker out of it though. A um, bunch of people requested a um, tutorial on how to do the shaker. So I have a separate video up for that and I can link that below. So if you want to watch that, you can go and follow it step by step. Um, and so I did that one, and so then on the tutorial, I made this other one to show you, uh, you know, as I put it together. So this one's, this is how this one turned out, which I think they're both really pretty. I like them both, actually. I mean, I'm usually more towards the pink and light, but I do like this with the turquoise type, type and then the red. It's turned out really pretty. So anyway, all the basic things the same, other than just the paper collection and the word. So... They turned out really cute. So there's that again. And then I had shared on the video that you can make it a memory dex too. So this is just the memory dex part. I could always, if I wanted to do the memory dex, I can just add that right on and boom, I have a memory dex card. Okay, so I shared that one also. Um, I posted this one on my, um, let's see, let me show you. This is the die set for the winter hat memory dex, okay. And then I also did a one of the 3D chocolate gift boxes. Okay, and it's a cute little gift box. It has layering pieces for the sides and and um, uh, like a frame piece for um, like a window if you want to cut a window. And it comes with a word, two words. It's called sweet treat. It has the um, you know the shadow piece with it. So that's what that die looks like. And this is. How my first little box came out. Um, so I fold. I just folded this top piece that you attach. I folded it just on the outside. So I just think it, I just liked how it had the you know the um, <laughs> whatever you call that the circle you know edge of it. So anyway, I cut mine. I just did one layer. This isn't layered at all. This is just cut out of um, pattern paper. Okay. And then I cut the center out and put some um, acetate behind there. And then this is a piece that does the frame. That's really pretty. Okay. And then I used my um, double loop bow that I had in my stash. I used that bow and put a flower in the center. And then right here these are some of that I picked up some of that um, we are memory keepers it's the um, twine wire um, for like your happy jig to do wire things and this one's like wire wrapped with the twine so I just kind of twirled it around a pencil and just made it like that and then I just attached you know kind of just rounded it and just attached it up underneath there I think it turned out really pretty this looks I like how it just holds its shape you know so it turned out really cute. And this can hold way more than a chocolate bar. So I just wanted to show you this. And I noticed I saw uh, Poochie Tat's video. She did the same thing. She put some flowers inside hers. I thought, oh, we both had the same idea. But anyway, I cut, just cut out a piece of acetate to fit inside. And then I put some of the poinsettias from the poinsettia um, die set on there. I just attached them with some uh, pop dots. So what a cute way to, you know, gift something like this. Um, I've also seen some people um, put, um, you know, like a pokey tool 
wouldn't be able to be very thick. I've seen like pins in here. You could put it, it'd be a good way to, you know, attach a dangle inside and gift that. All kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, um, this, I just left this out and I have it folding over rather than tucking it inside or anything like that. So, and like I said, I, this is only one piece of paper because I didn't, I didn't layer it. I just cut the pieces out of the pattern paper instead of um, layering the pattern paper up. So anyway, I think that turned out really cute also. Really easy to put together too. So those are my most recent um, projects that I have put together with um, and I wanted to share with you. So um, I will link um, Erica's website. Um, I will link my affiliate link. If you guys use that, it really helps me out um, with my channel. So I really appreciate those of you who do that. Um, also, be sure if you decide to pick something up, um, use the code POLKA10. It'll give you, that's P-O-L-K-A-10. It'll give you 10% off at checkout. And then I will link the dies down below too. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you with some more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.